everyone welcome to my channel in today's video I am going to be reviewing some Amazon wigs I'm not on a huge budget so I thought where can I try wigs from just to experiment them and just see how they are so I thought I'd try Amazon I've seen a few people getting some wigs from Amazon and I thought I'd give it a go just as kind of a little challenge and see what they were like Obviously I do have quite a big wig collection ranging from unreal amazing wigs to some that do need a bit of help. I only bought three um, but they are kind of a mix of styles so I have a kind of range of different lengths, styles and colours to show you. The first one but it is a charisma wig and comes with a wig cap and some little info about the wig and here it is. So this wig was £33.99 and it is a synthetic wig and it is a lace front wig. It does have transparent lace which is the kind of lace I need for my skin tone. It's like black roots going into a nice lilac -y purple. It's got nice curls. Also little grips and slides inside. I mean it definitely isn't the best um, you can definitely tell that it is a bit fake so let's try it on I mean for me I think you can tell <laughs> that it is a fake wig obviously it has got a bit of a shine to it which gives it that kind of more fake look it is such a nice colour so yeah Okay, so I'm going to give them a rating out of 10, just our first impressions, first when I open it and what it looks like on. So for this one, I'd probably give it maybe a 5. It's not very realistic looking, just it does has, have a lot of shine on it. Um, the curls maybe are a little bit too bouncy um, and I don't feel like there's enough volume here. But without saying that, um, there can definitely be a bit of improvement on it and make it look a bit more natural. So what I would do with this one is pluck the hairline, make it a bit more natural. Obviously cut the lace off, which I haven't yet. And I'd also pluck down here just to make it a bit thicker. That also helps make it look a bit more natural. And I would also add a few baby hairs and just kind of lay them nicely. And with that, I reckon we could go about a six or a seven. Yeah, it's not too bad to kind of play with, just something different or something to try. Second one I got, a nice long blonde one. Again, it is a charisma one and you do get a wig cap and some info about it. And I absolutely loved this one when I seen it, so I thought, yes, we'll definitely go for that. Was £35.99. This is a nice transparent lace. And it's kind of a warm blonde going into a more cool platinum-y blonde. <laughs> So again, I'm just tightening inside. I actually really like this one. The hair is really soft. Obviously it is only synthetic, so that will affect how long it's gonna last you. But I actually really love this. I love the color. It isn't mega shiny. It has got a bit of a shine to it, but it's not too much where it looks too false. Like, I don't mind this hairline. It's so long as well. Let's see if I can get the full length of it. I kind of like the ombre effect that it's given. I think it does make it look a bit more natural. I think I would rate this one, honestly, around a nine. We're talking on the synthetic scale, definitely a nine. It's actually such nice soft hair. Um, the length is so nice. It's a really nice colour. The hairline isn't too bad. 
um, but again I think I would still pluck it just to make it look extra realistic. The only downfall with it because it's so long and nice it won't last very long and it will get matted quite quickly but for 35 99 you definitely can't complain. If you're wanting to try out the blonde colour um, or maybe you just wear it on a one-off for a few occasions definitely would recommend this wig. Yeah I'm happy with this one I think this one's my favourite so far. This is again another Charisma one. This one is $29.99. So this one is like a wavy texture and it's like a nice chocolate brown, really dark brown, like in a black colour. The bottoms are a little bit tatty. Let's see if I can give them a bit of a brush. But I think when you get a fibre hair that is this long, it can definitely be hard to tame or kind of keep nice and obviously it won't last very long but if you are only paying like £30 for them they're definitely good as an alternative or um, just something to try out really especially if you're just experimenting with wigs and you don't want to commit to a really good one yet this is a good way to try them out see what colours you like what styles you like but these ones already have the baby hairs cut in the lace does look a bit darker yeah, I think this is more of a dark brown lace, which will not match my skin at all. So I've just adjusted it there. Okay, so this lace definitely looks a bit too dark for my skin. But I reckon I could make it work. <laughs> How these baby hairs are already in, I think if I laid them nicely across the lace, I would be able to disguise it but I love the length of it it's definitely very soft I actually really like it it's not that bad you can see how long and beautiful it is a little bit of movement I think I'd definitely wear this like I'd take it on a holiday I think I'd definitely have to pluck the hairline a bit because it's a bit too straight in there there needs to be a bit more out of there but I think I could fix something up with it I think I like the blonde one the best then this one and out of 10 I would probably rate this one around a 6 or a 7 just because obviously the lace doesn't really match my skin I think the baby hairs bumps the score up for definite the issue with the lace because it is too dark for my skin I would add in some concealer to it and kind of hide the lace a bit with these baby hairs like laying it down properly so it is such really nice thick and beautiful hair and the only issue is i really feel like it's gonna matte very quickly especially just because of the texture and everything so this definitely won't last very long a few wears and it's gone i'd say but it was only 29.99 so if you are just looking for one for like the odd occasion or anything like that this could definitely do the trick hair is literally so thick and long and that is definitely what i love about this wig i am going to do a separate tutorial on how i would go ahead and kind of fix up wigs like this that probably need a bit of work done to them and kind of ways to make your wigs look super realistic and um, i feel like it would be very useful for some people who are kind of struggling with their wigs um, and it'll give you some tips on how to lay them down nicely as well um, because i do have a few wigs in my own collection that aren't natural when they come at all and I buy them to kind of personalise them myself. I'm definitely a big advocate for getting a human hair wig and investing in a human hair wig. If you do have alopecia hair loss or anything like that, human hair is the way forward for sure. It's a lot more adaptable. You can do a lot more with it and you can, the last so much longer. So like these synthetic hair wigs, have a few and they don't last very long at all i do have some unbelievable human hair wigs and um, my favorite places to shop definitely noala wigs that is my top um, their wigs are super super realistic the hair is unbelievable the colors and the styles are just so modern and definitely what a lot of people will be looking for and i couldn't recommend them enough and you'll see for definite that's 
pretty much all I wear nowadays. But I do also have a few wigs, human hair from Trendco. I know probably a lot of alopecia wearers will have had Trendco wigs. I usually get custom made wigs from Trendco, so I do have a few of them. They're not cheap human hair wigs, but they are so worth it for sure. And they'll bring you a lot of confidence and making you feel like it is your own hair. I feel like this video was kind of important just to show you you can get some cheap wigs, try them out. I've been the dummy here for you for three of them. See if you like the colours and you could even use them as your tester for a real hair wig and then put your money towards maybe it's the blonde one like you want your real hair wig to be in your blonde it's definitely a good way to do that but these kind of wigs i would probably take on holiday wear them kind of that one off time they're definitely not a day-to-day -day wig because you won't really be able to do much with them in terms of tying them up but if you wanted to wear them kind of like this then they definitely would be fine for that i will be doing some more tutorials on my own wig collection and the wigs that i've just recommended so from nuala wigs and trenco just places like that just showing you the kind of wigs i would recommend alopecia hair loss sufferers to buy just so you can see how worth they definitely are i hope you've enjoyed this video found it useful um, and i will attach the links in the description box below so that you can go and check out the wigs and maybe purchase one if you want to try one out but also keep a lookout for how i personalize wigs how i make them look super realistic because i will be personalizing this one and maybe a few others just to show you exactly how you can do that thank you for watching and please come back and watch my next few videos please like subscribe and comment and i will see you soon